What's up, boys and girls? Ask Evan, episode three. You bring me the question, I'm going to bring you the answer. It's a beautiful day here in North Reading, sunshine, about 80 degrees. We just got the Jeep out of the shop, just cruising around. It's Listen, it's the best vehicle to go from the office to the bank. If it goes any further than the bank, who knows? Who knows, right? That's all right. That's all right. All right, welcome, welcome. Episode three, you bring me the question, I'm going to bring you the answer. So the question today is, Evan, I really want to hire a local agent. Right? You live in North Reading. I'm over here in Linfield, you know, or Marblehead or Swampscott or Boston or Hyde Park or wherever. I really want to hire a local agent. Okay, no problem. I'm not a local agent. I can't help you. I don't know anything about Hyde Park. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't know, pretend? No, 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 no. We won't have so much humor in this one. This one will just be kind of straight up. Evan, I really, I'm really leaning towards hiring a local agent, right? No problem, Mr. Seller. I totally understand. But what I'd like to do is kind of explain where leads come from, okay? The Main Street brokerage is really not a, a, a sustainable business model. The Main Street brokers with the pictures in the windows and the listing things, those things have kind of gone away. So how would one, how would a buyer who, let's say, is moving into, I don't know, we're in North Reading here, so moving into Gloucester, find a Gloucester house? They're going to do a couple different things. They're going to Google it. Right? They're going to go to one of the big three, the Zillow Truly or whatever. They're going to one of those guys, and they're going to find it, and they're going to contact the agent. Okay, Very few people move from Gloucester to Gloucester. I truly believe that. Now, you may go from a condo to a single. You may go from a, a big waterfront house to a single to downsize, but very few people go from Gloucester to Gloucester. So how do you think they're finding the inventory? Right? They're not going down to the local Gloucester. They're not coming off the, the whaleboat, walking down Main Street and saying, oh, gee, let's buy a house in Gloucester. Right? That's not really how it works. People are navigating their way to the internet. So what's more important than the local agency is the exposure that the agent, whomever you choose, provides your house. So if you, if you are going to list your house with us, and yes, I'm a North Reading-based agent, doesn't mean that I don't understand other towns, and your house is in, in, in um, Gloucester, it's really about the internet exposure. It's about driving traffic. Right? There's all kinds of statistics out there, but 95% of the buying public starts online. Okay, so where are they going? They're going to go online, they're going to find your house, they're going to see the marketing that we've created, they're going to determine the price of value, they're going to call me and they're going to make the trip. Right? There's no advantage to having an agent that works in any particular area. The advantage is having the agent that knows how to leverage technology, leverage the internet, provide your house the maximum amount of exposure for the least amount of cost. Alright, I'm going to cut it there. I hope that helps guys. There's no advantage to a local agent. The advantage is your internet marketing, your exposure online, your exposure to the masses. And so that exposure is top rate, second to none. And people will see your house, determine the price to value, and want to make the trip. Hope that helps, guys. Evan, uh, uh, at work with Evan on Twitter feed. Evan at the Russell team.com for email. iTunes.EvanLive.com if you want to jump into our podcast. Or EvanLive.com if you'd like to uh, listen to our show live Tuesdays. Okay, hope this helps. Episode uh, three, Ask Evan, signing out.